Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 4 of our tutorials and my name remains Abuchi Kwesinoa. So in this video, we'll be talking to you about the termination of TP cables. Alright, good. So we'll, we'll mostly be using our crimping tool. Okay, this is what we call the crimping tool. Okay, the crimping tool. Good. So when you check the crimping tool, you'll see an arc over here. Okay, this arc. Okay, we'll put the cable in the arc, press it gently and then turn the cable okay then we, we remove or you can just open it like this and then you pull and then it comes out of it okay so in our previous video i told you that there are four pairs of wires okay in the in this four pairs of wires and eight wires in total okay um, i'm twisted that's what we call it a twisted pair so we don't need this i always told i, I told you this last time it keeps the it keeps the cables in, in place so we just have to cut it off we don't need it it is done with its job so that is that and since you're not going to peel the cable we don't need the cable pillar as well okay so we cut that one off too good so now that we have this okay now with this you can use any color coding you want okay you can use any color coding you want but make sure that whatever you do to a do the same thing to b okay what i mean by that is this whatever color coding you use here use the same color coding here too Okay, other than that, you may blow a camera. And when you blow a camera, you will have to pay for the camera because no one will give you money to buy an extra camera or something. So please, you should know that and then make sure you do it right. So please follow me. So I normally like to use the this and then this for, for video and then this and then this for power. Okay, this is what I mean by that. You just peel a small section of this, okay? And then you peel another small section of this. And then there you have it peeled. You peel another small section of this. And then you peel another small section of this. Please, if you are peeling, then you can't peel right. You can just untwist them and then peel them one by one. Okay, but uh, if you've been in the stem for long, you know, these things wouldn't be a problem. So once you, ha you have them peeled like this, please, it shouldn't be too long. Okay, so you can cut them. Something really short. Very, very short. Something very short and cute. So you have this. It can all be of the same length. So you can see it here. And then we get our video balloon. So I said I'll be using this and this for video, right? This is what I use for video. This code is what I use for video. So I don't twist them. Reason being that sometimes you put it in and then you have to remove them out. If you twist, some people do twist them and then they they they, they bend it. When you bend it and you are, you, are, you are removing, it may damage this or it may even damage the cable. So we just insert it like that. So if you are removing, it wouldn't give you any problem at all. Okay, good. So... This one goes to the negative. I use this for the negative. Please, a reminder, you can use any for any of them. Okay, this is what I have been doing and this is what I've been stuck with for a while. So, I know I would not, I would not forget. And then we insert it into the video balloon. Okay, we insert this into the video balloon. And then when we come to the power side, I use the brown, brown, white for power positive. Okay, and I use the green, green, white for power negative. So this is the power pins I'll be using. This is the power pin I'll be using. Okay. This is a male type of power pin. I spoke to you about it last time. This is the male type of power pin. So I will take my screwdriver because this requires screws. Okay. I'll take my screwdriver. I'll take my screwdriver. And I'll just have to unscrew this a bit. Unscrew this a bit. Okay. I'm unscrewing to get the the hole here opened so I can insert the cable. So unscrewing is being done. Please don't forget if you have any CCTV camera installation to be done for you, you can still contact us on our numbers displayed on the screen and they will be at your service 24-7. And for first timers, we have a free mobile view for you. We don't charge for mobile view for first timers now let's get back to what we are doing so i give this for the positive so you always see it on the positive and then the negative okay so you know what you are doing so i give this to the positive to the power positive and then i lock it by screwing we lock by screwing okay if it were to be the cable if the power pin was to be the cable the positive would be the red one the red wire okay but this is not the cable so 
I love to use this one sometimes because you know with the with the with the cabled one with the cabled power, power pins okay or the power connectors you have to use a tip okay a black tip and if you don't have a black tip you know what would you have to do because you know the the positive and the negative don't have to come together okay it, it distorts the video so normally i love to use this one there's no tape required okay good so like i told you whatever i do to a you do the same thing to b okay so we have to do the same thing to b so you take your crimping tool along you put it inside the hole or the arc you twist a bit or turn and then you remove and there you have it there you have it so i believe you have tried this and you've gotten it right so that is that so we have to cut the ones we don't need later on we peel okay see i peeled and then this did not peel up so and please when you are peeling you peel gently so you so you would not weaken the cable else when you weaken the cable after you are done with the installation the cable may break because this is copper so if you are peeling please you don't press because this is a cutter it can cut it off so if you are peeling you peel with care you peel with care good so please the color codings like i said earlier on you can use any of them and the type uh, the, the the colors the names of the colors in my previous video the last two videos i made in episode two actually i met i untwisted them and then showed you the number of colors and then how the, how the colors are called so please do what you're going to watch those videos it will help you all right so like i said earlier on these are too long okay i don't need them they are too long so i cut them now reason for which i cut them and they, i don't want them to be too long is this when you look at this year the whole of the cable actually entered into the balloon into the video balloon okay i don't want the copper wire to be showing here okay that is the reason for which i uh, i actually love to do that so it wouldn't show else if anything should happen to it, it can break and then it would affect the whole footage so i love to put this in the whole of this inside so if it is long it will still work but uh, the most appropriate one is to put the whole of the cable inside of the video balloon so good i told you it comes in pairs so one for a one for b so like we said earlier on now let's look at what we did here we gave the orange orange white to positive right good now let's come to this also we give the orange orange white to positive as well so we press with some of the video balloons you have to screw or unscrew okay but with this one you just press and then you insert and then afterwards you try to pull it out and you see that it is locked and then the next one blue blue white for video negative blue blue white for video negative and then you try to point you see it is locked as well good you take another power pin okay that is if you are using uh what we call the splitter but in this case you're not going to be using a splitter we are going to be using the power supply itself this okay so like i told you when we came here it was what we gave the brown brown white to positive so when we come to the splitter here also when we come to the splitter here also we will be giving the same thing here the same things are here so we will do this we will give this one to positive right so it starts with negative so we can start with the negative over here so the negative is here as you can see so we will just have to unscrew and then insert please I always say make sure all of the cable enters okay then now you can screw and then try to pull it out and then you can see it went out so it means i did not do it properly that is the reason for which i always ask you to always try to pull it out to see if it comes out once it comes out it means there is something wrong so you put it inside gently and then you screw good and then you try to pull it out and then there you go it is fixed and then the positive please oh it's always here so please always make sure you have a look at it all right and don't forget when you buy the power, anything you buy from a shop please make sure to test it okay the power supply comes with some kind of light here so when you buy when you test it when we when we turn it on you will see that all the lights will come on and it shows that all the ports are working okay so that is that you should note that as well so you can see here whatever we did to a we did the same thing to b okay 
so if you have eight cameras or 16 cameras this is the same kind of process you use so this is one way of doing it all right so try your possible best to make sure it is done same okay you can have please you don't necessarily need an eight channel to do this okay you need a four channel and uh, eight channel 16 channel 32 channel so on and so forth they all work the same way thank you so much for watching our video and then we hope to see you soon bye bye for now